Welcome to Dental School, Year 3. So, a bit of a wardrobe change, but that is right. I am now a third year dental student and that is pretty, pretty exciting. The third year of dental school means a massive change for me and my classmates. Gone are the days of lecture and lab, and here are the days of clinic and still lecture in one lab. Clinic is a huge undertaking. We now have anywhere from 15 to 36 patients that are assigned to us. It is our responsibility to figure out what work they need done, to figure out how many requirements we need to fulfill in order to graduate, and then to go in and to individually schedule all of our patients each and every day for the clinic in order to hit both their needs and our requirements. And so as you can imagine, there is a ton of digital organization, as I've been calling it, that needs to be done in order to stay on top of all of these tasks. And that is a process that I've already started working on. So the digital organization within our school software, within my own personal notion, and then a couple of other places is something that is very important and will be a process for me over the next couple of weeks. But a major, major task that I need to tackle today is the physical organization process and take all of this stuff that you see around me and put it into those boxes right there so that I have all of my supplies ready to go for the various appointments that I will have in the future. And I have a new puppy and that's who you can hear in the background making those whining noises. Uh, did you already finish that rawhide? But basically in this video, I'm gonna go through everything that you see here. This is all of the stuff that we've received over the past two, this is all the stuff that we've received over the past two years of dental school, as well as the beginning of this semester. And I'm gonna take it and put it all into individual boxes that are based on specialty. So you'll see how that's going to work. I've got six boxes there, another one here, and those are all gonna be labeled with the different specialties. And I'm gonna take each of these items one at a time and put them into those boxes. So let's just go ahead and get started. So after a lot of time and work, I've gotten to a place where I think I'm feeling a little bit better about this whole process. So basically let me just show you what I'm working with. So we will start over here on this side. This right here is all of my old uh, tackle boxes filled with teeth and just stuff from the lab. Basically I'm going to use these tackle boxes for this right here. This is literally all burrs and they're all sorts of different types, round burrs, carbides, diamonds, all a bunch of stuff right here. I'm gonna take those and individually organize them into these tackle boxes and then label the tackle boxes with the names of all the burrs. Not gonna do that in the, at this very moment because that's gonna be a lot of work. The next thing we have right here is an oral diagnosis box. So oral diagnosis is the first appointment that we have with a new patient just to basically get them set up. So that's what that is. Over here with a very full box and for impressions, tons of stuff in there, a bunch of trays, uh, a bunch of guns, impression materials, adhesives, all sorts of stuff in there. The next box is my complete denture box. Also, I wanted to note that number 108 is my clinic number. So I will be applying these yellow stickers to all sorts of things so that if anything of mine is ever lost in the clinic, people know who it belongs to. But basically complete denture box, just some stuff in there. I have my waxing setup. Up, uh, some triad and a few other things for beating and boxing. Next, we have the endo kit. The endo kit is probably not going to get used very much because basically everything in here they are going to supply for us other than these sextants, which is where we mount our teeth for our endo sims. The next box is my removable denture box. This is going to be one that I use quite a bit as well, and that's going to contain uh, all sorts of things. Just the different stuff that we would use for a removable denture. I feel like if I'm doing any sort of denture, this box and this box, the removable and complete boxes, will both be pulled out of the locker because they're sort of interchangeable in terms of how you make those dentures. The next box here is the temp kit. Now this is 
The box that I will grab if I have to make a temporary crown for a patient. So this box will go hand in hand with the next box, which is the restorative box. And that's going to be used for operative and fixed prosthodontics. Just a bunch of stuff in here. One thing to note, all of my hand pieces, there are six of them which one of them is missing. Oh, it's right here. So there's six of those. Those are all gonna not stay in here. Those have to be sterilized before any time I use them. So just a bunch of stuff. Also interesting to note is all of my burr blocks are in here. There's a ton of burr blocks in there filled with all sorts of burrs. Those are gonna be used for restorative. Right here, this pile is sort of the miscellaneous slash I don't know what to do with it pile. And it's got all sorts of things that I definitely know I won't need because they were sort of used in lab and won't be used again. Not this, this is important. And then this pile is just like, I don't necessarily either don't need it or don't know where to put it right now. So I will deal with it later. This box right here is our dry shield, which will stay within its own box that's basically placed in a patient's mouth. And then there's the mouthpieces. I'm gonna keep this all separate. My loops over there, the ergo prisms, an extra bag, some impression trays. My teeth or my typodonts from my first two years of dental school won't need those until board prep. Here's all my extra stickers. Those are being applied to everything that I'm basically uh, needing to identify as mine. So overall, that is the progress report and this process is by no means finished, but I am a lot closer. The beginning of D3 has been even more stressful than I thought it would be. This is the biggest change that I think we've dealt with in dental school so far and it's already sort of weighed on me just how much we have to do. I look forward to talking more about this process in the future just as I actually complete it, but to be honest with you, school is so much right now that I'm really gonna be focusing on that and on taking care of my little girl right here because there's just so much to do and those are my priorities at the moment. But just to give you a little bit of an update, yes, D3 has begun. I don't have any patients scheduled currently. By the time you see this video, I most likely will be seeing patients. It's just a lot of work and organization is this massive first step that I need to complete before I can do anything. I can treat any patients and just do things the right way. Getting things physically organized was maybe not half the battle, but a large part of the battle. So. I'm glad that I actually sat down and did all of this. The next steps are basically to finish up with the various little projects that I talked about just a second ago, and then to transport all of this to campus, to my lockers in the clinic where I will keep all of these supplies. So every time I have an appointment, I can go in my uh, preparation for the appointment, I can go in, grab the box that I need for all the supplies that I'll need, and then go to the various disp dispensaries and grab other things and everything will be there for me so that I can proceed with the appointments. You might be able to tell that I'm very, very stressed right now. Time is of the essence at this point. I feel like if I could add six hours to every single day, I definitely would. Just trying to deal with a puppy, trying to deal with this transition into clinic, which is a huge, huge change. And then just everything that I'm having to do right now, uh, I feel very, very stretched thin. I also haven't slept a ton lately. So those people that often comment on my videos that I need to get more sleep, aren't gonna be very happy with my current status. But that's gonna do it for this organization video. This sort of serves as my dental kit video for my D3 fall semester. If you're not familiar with my dental kit videos, those are the videos that I've basically done every semester of dental school, except for the first semester of my D1 year because I wasn't making videos then. Basically just outlining all the things that we've purchased each semester for school. Essentially all of that is here next to me, but if you wanna see basically me going through uh, those kits as we got them in previous semesters, I will leave a link to those videos right here. Make sure that you stay tuned this semester. There's so much coming, so many things that are going to be happening for me in the next couple of months. I hope to keep you as updated as possible. So if you want to see how things are going uh, for me and my classmates in clinic, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, like this video, let me know what you thought about it, and I will continue to do this. Friends, I appreciate you for watching. And as I always say at the end of my videos, I will see you in the next one. Now I gotta get out of here.